Well, hello guys, here I'm Mr. G with another video. This one is going to be about longitudinal wave and I will leave the question in the description below so you can answer before watching the video. This um, question says the string show below can be used to demonstrate the wave produced by a sound. Uh, it's in a string, but it's the same type of wave that is in sound, okay? So now identify the component of the label, um, of the wave label. And you need to know that this one is longitudinal wave. longitudinal wave. So in this case, we'll have compression and rarefactions. So we need to know here that P will represent compression and Q represents rarefactions. That is the rarefaction. And then Q here will represent wavelength. It's from the center of one compression to the center of the next compression. That one will be wavelength there. This one is wavelengths. So we have now everything. P is compression and Q is wavelength. They don't ask you for rarefaction, but we can identify them. And if you do that, you'll get one mark for identify compression and one for saying this one is wavelength. The higher frequency than the human ear can hear a 20,000 kilohertz. A dolphin produces a sound in order to locate prey in the water. Okay? If the dolphin produces sound wave of wavelengths 5 cm, determined by mean of calculation whether the frequency produced by the dolphin can be heard by human. And the speed of sound in water is 1480 meters per second. And let's see what we have. What data do we have for this question? Okay, let's write data. This one is 7.2. It's fine. Well, so what we have, the first thing is that say the dolphin produced sound of wavelength 5 centimeters. So be careful because this one is what we can hear. We have to calculate and compare with that one there. So the wavelength is equal to 5 centimeters. Remember, you cannot calculate using centimeters. So we divide by 100. This one is equal to 5 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.05 meters. Okay, that is important there. The speed of sound in water, the dolphin leaf is in the water, so the speed is equal to 1480 meters per second. So what we need to calculate? We need to calculate frequency so we can compare and know if the human can hear that. All right, so now we go here, we have the formula set speed is equal to frequency multiplied by wavelength and we substitute this formula is given to you in the formula sheet let me show you here we already use it in other question so the rest is just to substitute the speed is 1480 this is equal to frequency multiplied by the wavelength which is 0, 0.05 and then when you calculate you get that frequency is equal to 29,000 600 hertz so in other words this one is greater than 20,000 hertz so the human cannot hear this frequency so you have to write that one then the human cannot hear the frequency so guys the answer here is this one if you uh, do this calculation you will get one for the formula one for the substitution one for the calculation for the final answer and then one by saying that human cannot hear that frequency be careful because it's a question so you have to make sure you answer that specific question question 7.3 boy standing between two buildings a and b start to call his sister that is inside building b a sound emit emitted by the boy strike the building b and returns back after 0 0.1 second this that happened is reflection This is reflection. The wave is coming in this direction, bounced on the building and came back. All right. And all that was done in 0, 0,1 second. So the time to go and come back and back, um, go and back is equal to 0, 0,1 second be careful with this one this one is the total time in other words we can call this one total time all right at the same instant the sound produced by the boy returns back after 1,5 seconds 
from building A. So it happened the same. This sound that he emitted is coming in between the buildings, so it go all the way to A and then coming back after 1,5 seconds. So the total time here is equal to 1,5 seconds. All right, that is total time from the building A. If the speed of sound in A is 340 meters per second, so they're giving you that the speed of sound, let's write it here, speed of sound is equal to 340 meters per second, calculate the distance between building A and B. So quite simple. All we have to do is to use this data to calculate distance A and distance B separately, and then we, we add the two distances. Now, what we need to know, this time is the total time for both of them, all right? So the time to just go, time to go will be equal to 0, 0,15, divided by two is half that time. So this time will be equal to, sorry, this one is 0, 0,1 second, eh? 0, 0,1 second, that is a second. Let's take off the second there. Don't you get confused. This is not five, this is a second. 0, 0,1 second, all right? So it's divided by two, 0, 0,1 divided by two. This will give you 0, 0,05 seconds, all right? That is the time to go. So the total time from where he is standing to that building, the time here, I'm going to erase all this one, the time is going to be to 0, 0,05 seconds. And then the time here is the same. Time to go will be equal to 1,5 divided by a 2, which is equal to 0, 0,75 seconds. So we have now the total time to go to B and, and A. All we have to do is to use the formula of speed of sound. So for A, we have to say that the speed is equal to distance divided by time, right? So when we rearrange or when we substitute this one, the speed is 340 equal to distance divided by time, which is 0, 0,75 we have that the distance of building A is equal to 255 meters. That is the distance for building um, A. For building B, we are going to do the same. So we are coming here and we say that speed is equal to distance divided by time. This one is a time here. Time, speed is equal to 340 distance divided by time is 0, 0,05 you get that the distance of building b let's call this one b and let's call this one a for building b I'll write it a little bit more here distance uh, b is equal to 17 meters that is the distance what is the distance between the building so the total distance between the building the distance between the building is going to be to distance a plus distance B. That's all. And we have 255 meters plus 17, and this is equal to 272 meters. That is the distance between the building. And then the marks here, guys, there's one mark for this substitution. There's one mark for this substitution. There is one mark for each answer. And then is um, another mark for the final answer. So it's four marks. That is the question. It's quite simple. All you need to know is that the speed of, of the wave of sound is going all the way to the building and coming back. Okay? So the time to go and come back is 0, 0,1 for one case and, and 1,5 for the other. So uh, you have to divide by two because it's the timing to come. And that's it. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Um, I'll see you next time. Subscribe for the channel. Mr. G here.